Hey, Matt, uh, obviously a tough one today. Just how, just how kind of bad was the start to the second half that put you on such a hole? It did. Um, for any team, when you come out and you can get a layup at first possession of the second half, you start to feel good about yourself. And um, we just can't allow that to happen. Um, you know, we echo that. We talk about that, you know, going in at halftime uh, just throughout the year. Just, you know, we got to come out. We try to get a kill, get a stop, make it tough for them. Uh, we didn't let that happen. I think they scored the first two, three possessions of the second half, and it carried over. And then we we got in a hole, and we had to fight back in the second half. And, yeah. Uh, I, 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 no, I'm, I mean, you guys started 0 for 11 uh, and missed seven threes in the first eight minutes of the, of the second half. I mean, why were y'all relying so much on the three when clearly Jericho was making it happen inside? Um, I didn't even uh, – <laughs> To realize that we were we started out over seven from the three and uh you know just with, like the flow of the game i thought for the most part they were good shots uh just coming out the half i think drew got two wide open ones uh you know brock's his was open uh so if you're playing inside out and you're, you're wide open you're getting good looks you know take them um you know but i, I know like in the first half we, we do a lot of jump balls up to kai or jericho because we exploited the mixed matches so i think we uh we just had to to record that recognize that more Often. John, hi. Go ahead, Matt. What was said when y'all are going through that through that slump for not hitting a shot for nine minutes in that second half? And and what was said after the game? Oh, uh, it was well, we got to guard better because um, they 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 scored eight out of nine possessions when they went on their run. So like like the, the formula is, is defending, uh, making it tough for them. Um, like that's that's our identity. That's where we have to be, um, and then. We we took some bad ones, some shots didn't fall. Uh, I think it's the lowest lowest uh, points we scored all year. We didn't score in the sixty, so you know credit to them. And uh, yeah, Dustin, you're up. Matt, did they change anything they're doing defensively? I mean, it looked like each time Jericho kind of touched in the second half, they really crashed aggressively with with some help defenders. Uh, besides that, did they really change anything, or did you just think they were just more aggressive uh, during that stretch? Um. One, like how Texas Tech guards, they really get on the side of you and they just try to force you on the side. And, uh, you know, once you're making plays, you know, on, off the baseline, out of the baseline, uh, yeah, when Jericho got the ball, they did, you know, double down on him. They tried, to, tried their best to, like, keep it out of his hands and force it, uh, force him to tough catches. Uh, you know, sometimes I might think it's a foul, but, you know, they didn't call it, so it wasn't a foul. Uh, but, you know, we just had to find ways to just get in a rhythm. And when we did that, you know, I think it started with like getting stops or just playing with pace and getting out fast and then them having to, you know, guard us, our aggressiveness. Cedric, go ahead. Yeah, Matt, when you guys started missing shots early in the second half, you seem, it seemed like there's a little lack of poise. You started playing a little hero ball. What, what must you do as the leader of that team to make sure that, you still get good offensive sets in a hostile environment. Uh, just, just raising my communication of you know shots we want. Um, you know, keeping guys confident at the same time because you don't want nobody to lose their confidence. But uh, taking the right shots uh, and just communicating that you know in every timeout, every huddle, every dead ball that I can possibly, um, and then just let don't let the offense you know affect the defense. Nick, go ahead. Yeah, Matt, uh, you know, Shaka talks a lot about how important it is for y'all to be connected and connectivity and stuff like that. Do y'all feel like on the offensive end, you guys were as connected today? Because kind of as said was saying, it looked like there were times where guys were kind of pulling up and trying to maybe make a little bit too much happen. Uh, at times, yes. At times there was, uh, you know, wasn't, like you said, as connected. Um, just something we, we we're going to watch film about. Uh, we're going to learn from. And I think at this time, like, uh, we just can't have that anymore. We just, uh, you know, it happens every now and then in the game, which, you know, as part of basketball, there is going to be that. You know, we got good players. But, you know, we, you know, the formula is, you know, playing unselfish and defending that uh, level five. And then, uh, you know, I think Andrew only, only played maybe like five or four minutes in the first half because he had foul trouble. You know, what's that do to a guy like that who you all rely on for offense? You know, does it make it harder for him to come back in the second half and kind of establish an offensive rhythm after sitting out so long? Uh, I think for anybody, and I think as a as a as a player, you just have to find your ways of uh, of uh, you know getting getting your rhythm back. Uh, you know, 
I think he we I got him on like the first or Courtney got him like one of the first passes, you know, coming out the half. Uh, so just get finding him and making sure he finds ways to get in his rhythm. So. Ryan, you had a follow up? Yeah, just yeah, man, they, they didn't have a lot of fast break points, but still transition transition <laughs> defense today. Um, they got they did get some easy ones. I mean, no, what yeah. how, how much are you uh, how much is that talked about? Um, I know our, our goal is to limit them, limit teams under eight points in transition. Um, and they, I know they had a few dunks. They broke the press and like Shannon got a dunk, got a couple dunks. Um, but I think, uh, like the biggest thing was like during that stretch in the second half when they just scored eight out of nine possessions and we, we got ourselves in a hole and now we're fighting back. Um, uh, and then we, we start playing our, our basketball. Uh, but you know they just made a f- few more plays down the stretch. And they made free throws. And yeah. speaking of dunks, we'll end on a positive. Uh, <laughs> let's talk about your dunk right before right before halftime. Where'd that come from? Uh, you know, I got a little sneaky bounce. You know, I didn't. I didn't. I was gonna lay it up, and I was like, "Oh, I'm here." You know, just turned it over. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate right, thank it. You, sir. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate it. No problem.